You age less painfully, I like that. Today I'm gonna talk about hiking a little bit. Hiking not for the sake of the movement, but more about the idea of connecting to nature. Now what is that connecting to nature? In our modern Western world, most people just simply don't spend enough time in nature. Now, there are plenty of proper scientific studies shows that nature's effect on the human body when it comes to biochemical device as our body. What does connecting to nature mean? Well, maybe a step one, being out there where there are trees, there are plants, there's dirt, that may be a good way to define nature. I mean, of course, there's untouched forests and unnatural forests, like parks. I believe either one will work to a good degree. Everything is better than nothing. So when it comes to hiking, let's take hiking as a physical movement that will take us to a place which is nature. And then when you're surrounded with nature, then whatever is inside of you and whatever is outside of you can harmonize and synchronize. Because when you go out in nature and you look around, whatever surrounding you looks much more and operates much more like whatever is inside of you. If you look at your house, your car, your office building, that surrounding does not operate the way how your insides operate. So it kind of makes sense that if you want to balance your insides, the best way to do it is you submerge yourself in an environment which is operating like your insides, which is nature. So, let's go on a hike together and let's discover what hiking could be all about. to hike. What basically happens to me, I feel like that everything slows down. All the speeding of the modern world just goes away and suddenly everything seems to be slowing down. It always takes some time. Nature provides that calm vibration, calm energy, and it eventually starts to affect you more and more and more. The longer you stay out there, the longer you hike, the more you realize this calming effect of nature and hiking. Oh, we're getting higher and higher. Oh yeah. This is where hawks hang out. And then you sometimes come across some places where there are real giants that exist. And that's when you feel the real size of humans are tiny in comparison to those guys. All right, so I quickly Googled the positive side effects of being in nature. This is what came up. Walks in nature help your memory. You feel happier. Nature can literally heal you. You can concentrate better. It prompts weight loss. Your vitamin D supply improves. Nature limits your stress. You age less painfully. I like that. Okay, headline. The positive effects of nature on your mental well-being. Eco-psychology. How immersion in nature benefits your health. Okay, the top five health benefits of interacting with nature by Yale University. Nature decreasing stress. Access to the outdoors makes you feel energized. Being in nature can help clear your head. Interactions with nature can help people recover from mental fatigue. Viewing natural scenes has shown increased recovery rates in hospital patients. These are all serious things. It's so simple. 
This medicine, this natural medicine is so simple, yet no one really utilizes it. Not consciously, very few people. Even people who are interested about health, seldom they think about, well, you know, I should, uh, I want to get into better health, so I'm going to go into nature more. People think more like, I need to get into better shape, so I'm going to go to the gym more. I believe nature will beat a gym at any time. A walk in nature, a nice walk with someone you like and a good conversation in nature, meditation in nature, climbing around the mountains, maybe some rock in nature, jumping around in nature, being barefoot in nature, connecting to Mother Earth through your feet. Feeling how your base, your conduit in your feet, how they connect you to nature and what it does to you. It's pretty fantastic. You don't need to be a brain scientist to get the benefits because you go there and you feel it. Most people like being in nature. Yes, there are bugs. Yes, there are animals. Yes, sometimes it is inconvenient, but we are wired to exist in that environment. So expose yourself as much as you can. And if you appreciated this, if you like this, please share it with others. Subscribe if you haven't. And together, if we all go into nature more, we will care about nature more. And when we together care about nature more, there is a higher chance that we can make decisions as a society, which will help us to maintain an environment that we can actually exist in. Because nature will be fine. Nature is powerful. The only thing is fragile is human existence. When we connect to nature, we care about nature, we take good care of it, and nature gives us back by taking care of ourselves. If we don't take care of nature, nature will change, and that change we will not be able to survive, according to 99% of scientists. So when you dial down things, and you go back to nature, so all you have to pay attention is the basic things, meaning shelter, fires for food, and water behind me, the creek. When you boil things down to those basic elements of life, it allows you to reflect. What do you really need? And then you can get clarity on fulfilling your needs, your true needs, which is companion, food, drink, shelter. That itself, the basic things, when you have in place, essentially you've got everything that it requires for you to be well. On top of that, there are a lot of things that complicates our modern world. And we get caught in their importance, as opposed to understanding what is truly important and what is secondary. In my opinion, most people believe that the secondary stuff are the things that matter the most. And nothing is further from the truth. When you have the basic things, then you're all good. And nature reminds you of that, so you don't get confused. <laughs>